Alan. I don't know where you are. Alan, are you familiar with your balls? Yes, I... Yes, I am very familiar with them. Well done. Last leg, boys. Adam, are you familiar with your balls? Hi! Hi, Hello. Hello. Are you all familiar with your testicles? We're familiar with each other's, yeah. yeah. Good. Uh. It doesn't matter. As long as you're familiar with a pair of balls, that's fine. Um, guys in the audience, how about you guys? Are you familiar? Do you hands, think? Hands, hands, hands. Show me hands. Okay. Look, they're embarrassed. You see, this is the problem! Exactly. Well, it doesn't surprise me, Davina, because people are, are sensitive about the subject and they're often worried to check themselves and have their doctors check them as well. But what's really unique about this cancer is that it affects the young and it affects 50%. I was surprised by that. Exactly. How old? So under the age of 35, 50% of testicular cancers. That's so crazy. It, it affects the young, but it's a very treatable disease. With all the money that we've collected from research and all the new techniques we've discovered, now it's a 98% cure rate. So find out what's normal for you, and that's the way you prevent any problems. So how'd you check? So, the way that I'm going to teach you how to check, yeah. I brought a guest all the way from New York City, my special guest, right here. Tonight's balls are being released by our celebrity draw master. Please release the balls. <laughs> Good luck, <everyone. sighs> Oh, yes! I mean, honestly, those Americans, they just do everything massive, don't they? Look at those enormous balls. So, I mean, tell me, what am I supposed to be doing with these? How am I going to check well, here, Matthew's balls? Here's the thing. Yes. Everyone is different, so only you will know what's normal for you yes. as a gentleman. Yes. So have a little rummage every now and then and figure out what's normal for you. But say, do you do, you do like both at the same time? You want to isolate one with your thumb and with the index finger do a little sweep of the testicle. Right. And what's interesting about testicles is they're a lot like avocados, similar enough. They hang from trees in pairs. One often hangs lower than the other and they have a grit texture to them. So don't worry if your testicle doesn't feel exactly smooth. It's not supposed to. In fact, the Aztec word for testicle is avocado. So we're all learning something tonight. I love this guy. I love this man. He knows, he knows everything. So it's just what's strange for you, and that's why we were saying know your balls. Absolutely. You're looking for any new lumps, any changes in size, and anything irregular that's in that area. But again, if you feel something, don't panic, because most of these masses are benign. But go have that conversation with your doctor, find out for sure, and that's the way you can be safe. Never be embarrassed. What about, I mean, obviously, checking balls, um, you can do it yourself, but can, I was joking about Matthew and I, but I could check Matthew's balls, couldn't I? I know them very well, we've been together for 18 years. Absolutely. So, this isn't a, this isn't a message to all the men out there. This is to the women as well, because yeah. the places you should check your balls are in warm environments like the shower, the bedroom, and guess who's in those places? My husband. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> and also, it should be something that can be fun. It doesn't have to be, you know, something. Absolutely. So you're not looking for something life-threatening. You're looking for something that's preventative. So in fact, you're technically curing yourself of the cancer by looking for it. Brilliant. And if you're worried, what do you do? Go talk to a health professional. We're more than happy to have that conversation Great. with you. We'll check it out, and you'll feel much better hands. He knows his stuff. He's amazing. Give it up for Dr. Mike. <laughs>